Out it is summertime and people with the means might be taking a vacation to Europe. Mm -hmm. Let's hope that um, everyone's being really careful because Dr. Don Schifrin is here with some tips. Now, Dr. Don, we've been covering the measles. We've just been on top of it. And nearly every measles case has come from inside, from outside the country, inside the United States. Well, that's a good point, Amity, because uh, imported measles is the way measles enters this country. We've had already over a thousand cases, the most since 1992. It's in 28 states. Most of these have come from abroad. So summers here, schools out, travels in, and a lot of parents are going to be taking their kids on a European vacation. The destinations are terrific, although there may be some jet lag and museum fatigue <laughs> built in. For sure. Uh, but one of the things that they want to take on their list, they want to take the favorite blanket for toddlers, they want to take some Band-Aids, but one item they shouldn't forget is, are your kids protected against measles? Th there is a travels health notice from the CDC about European countries, Britain, France, Italy, Germany wow. are all endemic with measles, so the risk is high. So what okay. can you do if your kid, I mean, let's hope that people are immunizing their children. If they are, what, what should they be aware of? Or if they're not, then they gotta, they gotta get the immunization, right? Well, the great question, the, the awareness is the risk. Again, going overseas and getting exposed, getting ill. Remember, the rash only occurs four days after you're exposed mm -hmm. and you're infected. So you are silently infected and you can be infected anywhere, even in a safe country because you're going through an airport. So one of the things we want to make sure of is parents should check their children's vaccination status, talk with their doctors about it. Again, the only way to really prove that you're immune is if you're born before 1957, mm -hmm. thank you, <laughs> um, or, or you can prove laboratory-wise from a blood test that you're immune to measles, or if you've had two vaccinations after the age of one. Mm -hmm. For kids under six months, immunocompromised people, pregnant women, they cannot get the vaccine. So hopefully they've been immunized before, but right. going, uh, going overseas with a youngster under 12 months is very difficult if you're going to a high risk area because they are going to get exposed at some point. Yeah. So we do know that the measles virus can live up to four hours on surfaces in the air. What can you do as parents? I mean, you know how kids, toddlers are. My three-year-old's touching everything. You have any advice for that? Well, the, the best advice is, of course, wash, wash, wash. Mm -hmm. And of course, take maybe some Purell with you and make sure that they don't put it on their hands and then put it close to their face or their eyes. But again, because measles is airborne and is more infectious than Ebola, uh, it is very difficult for you to avoid, even if it's washing hands, because this is airborne. Can I ask you mm -hmm. a, a question? I mean, Surely. I just wonder how much this is, how much it bothers a, a pediatrician, a longtime pediatrician, to see something that was eradicated or basically eradicated to come back, and now we're talking about this all the time. What is it like for you as a doctor to... Well, it's very difficult because uh, the Gallup poll that was done shows that 50% of Europeans in European countries believe that vaccines are unsafe. In France, it's one-third only believe that vaccines are safe. Two-thirds believe they're unsafe. Wow. This is why France is endemic with measles now. There were over 80,000 cases in Europe last year with over 40 deaths from measles. So again, this is a very serious problem. and. Uh, I can't blame parents. We used the wrong terminology. We said that in, in 2000, we declared measles eliminated in the United States because we didn't have a case for 12 months before that. But the measles virus is not eliminated. It's still out there. It may have been eliminated in 2000, but it certainly is not eliminated in 2019. Wow. And it's, it's endemic in Europe and also Ukraine, Russia, and especially Israel. All the cases that are in New York mm -hmm. right now, and there's over 400 cases there or more, uh, came from travelers to Israel coming back with the measles. Wow. So there's one souvenir you do not want to bring home <laughs> for vacation, no kidding. and that's the measles. But if you do come home from Europe and your child has a fever in the first few days, call your pediatrician's office, notify them you've been out of the country so they can institute some infectious precautions and not expose all the kids yeah. in that clinic. Great point. In the waiting room. Yeah. Thank right. you so much, Dr. Shepard. So great to see you and such great advice.